Hey, what's going on guys? Quick update. I finished my half marathon. So I'll give a uh, brief summary of the week prior. I was going from 30 miles a week up until two weeks prior to the marathon, half marathon. And uh, I cut back on the last week to 10 miles. Uh, a couple days, I ran two days, doing pretty much one mile every run. And uh, yeah, I was feeling really good, refreshed. I was super fresh. Legs was super loose. Uh, uh, my, my nutrition was on point up until Friday, so I ran on Sunday. Friday, we went to Springfield early, stayed a couple nights in a hotel, and I was pretty much just eating everything, and uh, ended up uh, probably running five pounds more than what I was wanting to. Probably ran around 172, 173. Being is, one, I was super hydrated, and two, I could not crap. That is horrible. Even up until the race, I was trying so hard, but uh, I ended up actually doing the entire race without feeling any kind of problems. Uh, did not have to go bathroom during the race, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the race. So, I was really wanting to get some footage, but I actually didn't get any footage, but I will post all my splits and everything on here, on the timeline. So, the race, my goal was to finish the race within two hours. That was the main goal. And I wanted to do a 9.13 pace pretty much the entire time. But I knew I could probably do better. And uh, the energy, there was 155 people there, I believe. Yeah, there was 154, 155. And somehow I was shoved to the front. So when everybody started out, I was pretty much, wasn't really keeping up with every get body in the front. But let's just say my first mile was a 7 minute and 30 second mile. Which, I mean, technically by my standards of doing a 913, that would have been horrible. But I actually was, am in a lot better shape than what I thought. And I ended up slowing down because I knew that wasn't what I was wanting. But when I was slowing down, I was, I was feeling so good that I didn't want to go to a 913 pace. So I was pacing myself at a 830 and every mile I just kept getting a little bit faster and a little bit faster. And uh, it wasn't until about mile number 10 or 11, I think it was mile number 10 I slowed down, then 11, 12 I went fast again, and then 13 I was attacked by a big gust of wind, and that slowed me down to, I think it was at 845. But, all said, I ended up doing my half marathon at one hour and 49 minutes. And uh, I think it was like 28 seconds. Uh, but the chip time was one hour, 49 minutes, and 19 seconds. So better than what I uh, got on my phone. So, so the chip time was one hour, 49 minutes, and 18 seconds. So I ran at an 8 minute and 22 second mile per uh, pace per mile. And uh, yeah, I pretty much blew that out of the water compared to what I was wanting to do at a right below a 913. And uh, <laughs> yeah, just super excited because I've been training uh, super hard. My last 13 miles was 2 hours and 10 minutes, but I ran that at an easy pace. Didn't really have anybody to push me. But uh yeah, I've, I've been training for 13 weeks. Uh, pretty much uh, went from zero running to doing this half marathon. Which, again, this is only the beginning of what I am wanting to do. Uh, 
I have a lot, a lot more planned. So uh, next, the next venture for me is going to be that full marathon, which I am going to be doing. Hopefully, either by the end of the year or early next year. I'm sure I can do it now just to do it and complete it. I don't really know what my goal is. If I want to set a time, if I want to train accordingly. But uh, right now, we're just having fun, running, getting that motivation back to where it doesn't feel like I am uh, coming out here every day and killing myself. Just finding the passion again of just running and being out here in the country. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, so my birthday is March 23rd. I will be turning 32 years old. And on my birthday next year in 2023 is going to be my first uh, ultra marathon distance. I don't know if I want to actually do an ultra marathon and and uh, go into a race. Uh, it won't exactly be on my birthday, uh, but my uh, stepdad, not my stepdad, my father-in-law, my wife's dad, they have uh, woods, which I recently did a video on the GoPro with my kids running out through the woods and the trails. I can end up making that to a one mile loop and I can pretty much do that for 32 loops which is what I plan on doing so this way every lap I can make my own little uh, rest station have everything planned out and whatnot but yeah that's just the update uh, that's how the half marathon went uh, uh, I wish I can give some tips on what to eat, how to eat, but I pretty much just ate everything from uh, Cracker Barrel, IHOP, to uh, a bunch of random different places. Now, I could tell you what I did not enjoy was the Cliff Bar, or the Cliff Gels I consumed while running nastiest taste I've ever had. Horrible. I was using the uh, SIS uh, gels, which I thought was amazing. I don't really know the flavor of those. can't think of it. But the, the Cliff Bars, I have like two different Cliff Bars and a vanilla bean, some other one. But man, they were horrible. <laughs> they were horrible. Uh, probably won't be using those gels ever again. Uh, anyways, that's probably going to be it for this video, and, uh, yeah, excited, gonna keep running, keep pushing myself, uh, try to keep getting faster, and, uh, just make this more enjoyable. Uh, appreciate all those who actually watch my videos, there's not a lot of you, but there's some of you, and, uh, I, I thank you, and, next goal is going to be the full marathon. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.